Good afternoon. We're so glad you're here. From daily vlogs. So if you enjoy this video, make sure you come back every day. I made banana muffins. They smell so good. And I just got back from a 10 mile run. And look what happened right after I got back. Rain, rain, rain. Are they good? I didn't have brown sugar. I didn't have they are one other thing, but... Amazing. Really? I want 50. Well, there's only eight of them because we only had one ripe banana. Well... There's walnuts in there. Mm -hmm. They're so good. Yeah. <laughs> Watching somebody feed Phil, which I've watched like a thousand times in my life so far, but I don't recall ever, I don't recall most of this Montreal episode. You guys ever done that? Like, I definitely have watched this. I remember the intro, but we're like a third of the way through. I got nothing. Nothing's up here. Um, I did not want to go run this morning, but I, I did. I went out and ran. You know what? I remember this scene now. Um, but I went out and ran, and I'm happy I did. I almost gave up, too, because I ran 10 miles, and I was near our apartment at 6 miles, and I was like, I'm not feeling it. And I was like, you know what? No, it's about getting the miles done. And I was like, I don't even mind if I walk a lot of the next 4 miles. Um, and I didn't. I ran more than I walked. Um, but it's about the consistency and just pushing yourself to do it. So I'm trying to tell myself it's about the miles, not about the time right now, because that's what I did the whole first year, year and a half of me running was it was about getting miles, not about time. The time came. Um, and when I, I check when I woke up, I checked your location to see if you were out here on your run, because I'm always like, did he make it? And I woke up and you were like right outside the apartment, so I thought that it was just, just a glitch, and I thought you weren't out on a run. Uh, but then it was like a couple more minutes went by and I checked it again and you were further so I was like oh he's on the road. yeah there's a 10 mile route where I like I'll go do like four or six miles in one direction run past our apartment and then go do whatever I didn't I whatever like if I did four I'd do six if I did six I'd, I'd do four um which sometimes is risky because like me my, I get it's a mental game for me and sometimes I get I get near the apartment and I'm like ah just forget it I just want to go home and lay on the couch and sleep but I did it I finished um, I feel more wrecked because it was like 90 something plus humidity and almost 80. That's why like, I got home and literally within like a few minutes of me coming home, it started just downpouring because of that's how sticky and filled the air was with moisture. But now it's time to just relax and eat these delicious muffins. And I have a cup of tea ready to go. Sarah already jinxed it. So I'm going to talk about it. Everything in, I needed in life has been happening over the past three days consecutive, including today. And that is Casey Neistat has posted a vlog for three days in a row now. And they're just sweet little five, six minute blurbs into that man's life. And I love it. I love it. I love it. You already jinxed it, so you opened up the gates. But check them out. So ever since we watched that that fiction documentary, this was like a meal example and I haven't been able to get it out of my mind and I finally made my dream a reality. I am eating a real egg. Um, it has salsa in it, garlic, and there's avocado with lime juice on it, other seasonings, and just cherry tomatoes. And it's been literally stuck in my head for days and so I'm so happy. Look who got nice and cozy on the couch. <laughs> I, um, yes. I've been working on the vlog, and I wore my good luck dress because I hope there's a Halloween Horror Nights announcement. Thanks for that. You're welcome. And it's kind of like Beetlejuice. Hopefully we get our car back tomorrow. I don't know why. Like, it's got to be just like some mental trigger. Like, we've spent months inside because of the quarantine, but like, us not having the car and not having any car... It's we just like freaking me we out. Can, like we can get places. Yeah, but, but it's just it like how just I said, like, I like, oh, I just want to go to the P.O. box. No, I process. can't. Anything that we want to do is process. I almost like we were hungry early and I was, Sarah was like referenced the Impossible Whopper. And I was like, I'll go get them. And I was like, oh, wait. I'd have to like run down the street to get a hopper bike, ride the bike a couple miles away to the Burger King. 
Would I have to tip you? Yeah, you would. But we're just relaxing, embracing the, the laziness of the weekend. Cause yeah, we both can have busy weeks. Mm-hmm. We have a busy week coming up. Yeah, we do. And an even busier weekend after that. Yeah, we do. And, and by that point, the doctor will say James can come any moment and then we got a busy life. It's going to be great. Can you believe? Let's buy more stuff for James. Yeah. I looked up all these like different consignment. How do you say that word? Cosignment? I think it's Cosign- con- consignment. Consignment? Consignment. Oh, there's an N? Oh, I was thinking like cosign like in... <laughs> what's that? That might be what it is. Cosignment store? Calculus? Cosignment store? Yeah, for babies in our area. There's so really we're nice one in Park weekend. Avenue. Um, yeah, we're gonna buy more stuff. Eve's walking down the street. She's loving life, but Peter's got a headache, so we're not making this long. Okay, I'm being kind of risky with Eve. I'm letting her guide the way, but it's definitely looking like rain is coming in and then quick rain. That is not far from us, and it's only darker from the incoming directions. Weak. Depending on how quick the rain starts, it's already starting to drizzle. This little girl may have led us too far. Uh-oh. Evie and Peter are on a walk. Evie hates the rain. It hasn't been raining until just now. Eve, it's raining now. It is pouring, pouring. Here they come! Uh, <laughs> you got stuck in the rain. <laughs> we were like three blocks away and I was like, um, Eve, I think we might want to turn around. We might get stuck in the rain. We actually didn't get too wet, but... It's like pouring right now. It was photo finish. Evie! Did you she's, get caught? She's not thrilled. <laughs> now we have a game plan. Sarah's gonna cook. I think while Sarah cooks, I have a really bad headache. Like, I haven't had one in a while. Why don't you lay down? I need to do the dishes. She then feel bad. But then we're going to watch The Goldfinch, which is a movie that we wanted to see for, I mean, it came out in 2019. Um, but we really wanted to see that. We never it saw. It was um, during our movie pass AMC. In between phase? In between phase, yeah. But it's on Amazon Prime. And it's got a whole slew of famous actors and actresses and it just looks really good um so i think after we eat we're gonna watch the goldfinch she's still traumatized from getting caught in the rain this is what i'm making tonight but without the noodles pause here hopefully it's clear enough if you want a good you want a good read this is what i'm making Oven, preheating to 375, check. So in the food process, <laughs> she got me. In the food processor, we're gonna make the um, zucchini tofu ricotta cheese substitute. It actually, you're only clanky over there. Um, it's actually what it calls for and not normal ricotta cheese, but I'm sure you could use it if you want it. A quarter cup of walnuts, two cloves of garlic. I just eyeball with spoonfuls of minced garlic, seven ounces of tofu. I might have to, I don't know, it fits. First time I've ever bought tofu. I did chop it up some just to make room. Um, half a cup of chopped zucchini, and then I just Eyeball the half a teaspoon of oregano and a quarter teaspoon of chili of red pepper chili flakes. All right, and then this is a half a cup of chopped fresh basil, um, and then salt and pepper. Totally forgot the lemon juice, so a full tablespoon of lemon juice should also be added, and then puree it on up. And here is how it looks. So we are doing all strips of zucchini instead of any noodles. So the, if you do follow the recipe, it does call for noodles. So once I cut up the zucchini, I'll already start layering it up and getting it ready to go into the oven. We're not topping it with cheese, um, probably just some nutritional yeast. 
And yeah, so this is how my layers will look. There's more tomatoes on the bottom side, um, but it's the zucchini, the spread, and then a little bit of tomatoes, red pepper flakes, some minced garlic, salt, and pepper. So each layer I'm gonna do this, just to keep every layer nice and flavorful. Um, and then I'll, I'll put like most of the rest of the tomatoes on top and drizzle it with olive oil. Okay, so ours might not look as fancy as theirs. Here it is. Um, but it smells really yummy. I didn't realize it has to cook so long. Bake covered for 15 minutes and then uncovered for 30 to 20 to 30 more. It's like normal lasagna, I feel. That's true. Um, so yeah, hopefully it's super yummy and it goes. I love these three. I love um, Oogie Boogie's little henchman. It was our first mystery button for Playing Crazy Button Club. And my life goal is to have, I mean, I want to have more than three kids, but when we do have three kids, dressing them up as these three. Lock, shock, and barrel. Yeah. When I was walking over, she goes, I just want to put this on until, until you're done with it. I just put this on. Okay, it's been 35 minutes overall. Let's see if it's ready. Alrighty, so it is a bit oily. It's definitely ready though. I did top it with some fresh basil. Um, I imagine that the noodles and the cheese would like soak in the oil a little bit more. So we just will eat around it. It just has to cool for like 10 minutes. And then I also made just a classic family salad. Greens, tomato, onion, salt, pepper, garlic, oregano, or olive oil, and vinegar. But I also added half an avocado in it dinner review are you even on the camera yeah. uh, dinner review was it was really really good um, I think we'll be making it again mm -hmm. with some potential modifications yes with we we eliminated the pasta layer and like really it's still only like half pasta so it wouldn't even be like that many additional carbs um, but we think that they would have like soaked up a lot of the juiciness of it because the zucchinis um, have liquid as well as the tomatoes. Maybe we might do like our full on tomato sauce that we make instead of just a can of iced tomatoes. Um, but yeah, really yummy overall. Salad was good. And now we're gonna watch that. Goldfinch. Golden Goldfinch. Finch. I'm torn between just eating this right now and saving it for tomorrow for a fun breakfast treat. This treehouse villa view on Facebook. Oh my god. It's a video. One day we'll stay there. We should just book one night, just you and me, and have that whole place to ourselves. <laughs> we totally sneak even. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, because you can you can drive up to you can drive up to it and park your <laughs> We turned on the light after the movie was over, and this is what we found on the ground. <laughs> just found it. Good movie. Really Long movie. movie. Not at all what I expected. No. There was a lot in the trailer, and so I assumed that there was going to be a lot in the movie, and there was just a lot. There was just a lot. It was like two and a half hours. Yeah, which we didn't realize. It was good, though. It makes me miss museums. I know. There's no culture here. Just joking. <laughs> There's museums. We just, like, we were very fortunate with, like, museum campus. And all the other museums and, and like big and me, small. And me going to art school in a big city, I went to a lot of small galleries too. Yeah, so we had like so many small galleries and then we had so many like huge notable, notable ones that like not every city gets. Like yeah. We not only had zoos, we had aquariums, we had mm -hmm. museums, we had science industries, we had small yeah. galleries, large galleries. Yeah. But here, there is, there's a couple. Yeah, there's one. There's a, there's a good cultural one downtown, but I think that's like it. But what about like the Science Center? We went to that oh, yeah. Shakespeare Theater. Eve is going to read you the daily message. <laughs> Better to light a candle than to curse the darkness. Proverb. Are you ready for bed? What are you sniffing? Well, that was a good weekend. It was a weird weekend. It was a long weekend. It was a weird weekend. It started off with the weird. car breaking. I know, it was weird. Um, 
but hopefully you're going to go tomorrow. My arm's really tired. We could get the car back tomorrow. More likely it's going to be Tuesday, if not worst case Wednesday. So we're going to get the rental car tomorrow, though. Yeah. And I have a dermatologist appointment tomorrow because I Maybe get checked. Maybe we'll go somewhere tomorrow if we have a rental car. Yeah, I get checked every six months for just being cautious. Abnormalities. For caution. It's good. To be home. It's good to be home. You're so sweet, little puppy. We spent the last two hours watching Home Alone. We, like, really watched it, too. I know, we've done that in a while. About to put on Christmas music on our Alexa. Alexa, play Christmas music. Good night, Evers. We know what our goals are, we know what we hope to accomplish, and believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.